Hi friends, I am your Joel John and your uh, YouTube blogger and today I am going to speak about the human's most friendly and faithful animal dog and uh, in this video go, we are going to talk about uh, dogs we are going to talk about uh, dog um, grown up dogs and different breeds of dogs and how dog is friendly to a human being and we are going to start real story which happened uh, in Australia or uh, in a home by an adapted dog we are going to talk about animal adaption you have heard about child adaption similarly there is something called as animal adaption you have heard of uh, blue cross where they provide uh, real life to the street dogs cows abandoned animals and all those that's why I am dressed I wear uh, blue spectacles and uh, blue t-shirt to just uh, give you an uh, uh, impression about and also inner green to talk about greenery which is very essential for the life around us we live in a world where we are dominating we are the only creature with sixth sense with our sixth sense we are dominating the whole world but we should also understand that we have to give some space and we have to create a safe environment to other creatures we are also going to talk about that in this video why we have to give space for other creature why we have to support a diversified environment we are going to talk about ecosystem and mainly this is going to be centered on a story about an adapted dog that's a doberman breed which is a you know a large mid-sized dog they used to call it as and that's come from a canine family where they have a very big teeth <laughs> and uh, so i am also going to talk about snakes in this australian snakes australia is a land of venomous creatures and i am going to talk about that and uh, i am also going to talk about uh, why snakes are also essential in this society and uh, we are going to talk about how to avoid snake bites all those so quickly getting into the story and uh, before that i ask you i request you to press the subscribe button to see my future videos i am going to come up with a lot of things related to pets interviews mutual funds insurance finance and other this is a multi dimension channel so you will get plenty of different different videos for all your needs and uh, another one piece of uh, information i like to share about share with you is human abuse and human violation is also happening much in the world child abuse is one of the worst so as i talked about child adoption another one main problem is child pornography which is uh, and uh, tamil nadu police uh, is ready to take action on them and they have got the details of those people who share watch uh, like and comment about child pornography even searching on internet is an offense because when you search someone else is going to be induced to make money on that and watching that will spoil your mind and you may abuse someone or someone get abused because of you it's an offense and it's punishable up to 3 to 7 years of uh, rigorous imprisonment as per the indian law and uh, child abuse even if you are a citizen of united states of america if you do it in any other part of the world itself it's an offense and you will be penalized when you once you once the us uh, cops catch you and whatsapp is going to share the data and uh, the legal department and jurisdiction are ready to do find out data from anywhere to prevent child abuse so please don't do that and uh, end up in being in jail jails won't be good they are not good facilities mainly in a country like india government facilities and uh, that too when they punish you that won't be good for you okay and also child below the age of 18 not i don't say that do it up for people above the age of 18 <laughs> but still if you do it to someone below the age of 18 that will have a serious impact on their mind and on their future life as well so please don't do that and uh, have good entertainment like watching my youtube channel and stay with me and stay with other good youtube channel holders and uh, this is a news i got when i was searching on net uh, uh, just i was uh, moving through my youtube at that time uh, director general of uh, police of uh, child and women abuse prevention uh, wing gave this information and i just thought of passing it on in my youtube as a uh, step people may be f afraid and don't uh, harm a child second uh, they may get good entertainment like my videos <laughs> okay just kidding with you but always avoid child abuse and animal abuse don't abuse anything or anyone for that matter or you want to hurt someone and hurt someone and have some pleasure
that's not good right okay fine so quickly getting into the topic and uh, the hero of this story mr con is a doberman breed dog uh, which is an uh, which was abused by its previous owner his leg was broken just think of the poor dog you have a dog or you have a cat my cats used to beat me like anything <laughs> friendship <laughs> good understanding uh, so i used to get beating from them but uh, they are very small creatures like so we have to keep them in a polite way we have to pet them and make them calm one real fact i like to share with you is even if your animals hurt you you are mainly i am talking only about your pet animal don't go and play with the snake and say that this stupid on his video said that uh, go and play with animals they won't hurt you <laughs> they are going to <laughs> kill you <laughs> and uh, so that also snake, snake catchers are there i will talk about that on the later part of this video but if you are not trained please don't do that but dogs and cats are very friendly how i say this is uh, my cats used to fight with me and also among themselves a little bit of my personal story adding up uh, what i will do is i will try to catch it with my hand but when a strange cat stranger cat is there i won't give my hand because they will give a very powerful beat that's the kind of love and affection your animal show towards you If you get a beating from a street cat, it will be very painful. If you get it from your hand, it will be light touching. In that itself, blood will start oozing from your hands. That's the power animals have. They don't show it to you because they love you. And um, we lust them. We lust them for everything. They. I used to ask my cats to sit near me and speak. Still, I sleep as their sounds are very pleasant for me. So <laughs> I can also say that than loving my cat, I lust my cat because I desire to possess all the best things of my cat. Anyhow. And uh, we, when I leave a stick, my cat will beat like anything on the stick. He will get uh, that much of angry on me. It's not that he is not getting angry on me that I am disturbing you or I am stopping him from doing anything. He will beat on the stick like anything. I will feel so bad because leaving a stick because my cat will beat severely on the stick and his cat will pain. So that's the kind of uh, true friendship your animals and pet animals mainly will show towards you. And uh, to talk more about. Um, uh the pet animals and mainly the story hero mr con is a abused dog that's a doberman variety uh, and now uh, to talk about the breeds of dog doberman is a child friendly dog it has got four ratings in most of the reviews i saw like uh, comparable with the german shepherd uh, that's a wolf breed dog german shepherd that also has a very good rating but at times they are harmful to children as well because children soon be know how to behave with a dog so always keep your child at a distance from the dog it's your responsibility to take care of your own children don't leave them to play with the dog and you go and sit somewhere you have to sit near your children when they are with your dog ask them to be with your dogs but at times you may go to attend some other work or on an emergency work you may leave your child your dog or your cat will try to do anything to safeguard your ch- child that i have seen on my personal experience as well and uh, uh, one when i was a child i went to fall into a water uh, Uh, what they call it as a uh, tank my cat you know how much fear a cat will have for a uh, water it was uh, still standing near that uh, water tank and shouting for us calling someone for help my dog was barking it was tied up it cannot come and lift me up it was barking after that my dad hearing the sound came and picked me up <laughs> otherwise i would have been no more you would have died that much love and affection your animals have on you that water was enough to choke me up and uh, uh, i personally also was saved by a dog and cat so i love animals like anything and mr con is also a real life hero real hero who saved the life of a kid but i am advising you don't do that please don't try it at home like your wrestling line and what happened was um, uh, the house owner that madam uh, Carolite or something. I will use my own names. Okay, I'll give I'll give the madam name is uh, Christina and have the child name is Carolite. It was something nearby that, but I don't remember the exact name. I just read this on the internet when I was surfing to net. I read this story. I am sharing this with you because you have to start loving animals and you have to start uh, not hurting anyone, but to uh, live a life in a proper ecosystem. And what happened was uh, one day, she, uh, as usual, the Uh, she was initially afraid how this uh, dog will be with her cat in one or two days the dog was very well behaved be doesn't show any uh, you know symptoms of an abused dog so she left the dog very freely with her child and uh, 
both uh, and on the fourth day both of them were playing on the grass lawn and uh, in this grass lawn suddenly and uh, Christian was watching her uh, washing vessels and she was still having an eye on her child and dog suddenly she saw her child uh, running and playing with the dog suddenly the dog was ferocious and it catched uh, her child by her diaper dragged her away pulled her off and then also it showed his teeth and it was very ferocious and uh, looking at this uh, Christina got shocked my dog is harming my child and I have to save her and she ran and uh, towards the place but uh, she found she was little some for a short while she was also shocked and after that she ran and uh, she took her child and she saw uh, Mr. Khan is collapsing and falling on the ground uh, so she found something wrong has happened in Tamil there was a story a similar incident uh, you know mongoose right it's an animal which will be always fighting with a snake uh, so one, one, some people had mongoose as a pet animal and at that time what happened was uh, the lady went to take water and was leaving her child there the mongoose was uh, coming in front of the uh, door and standing very happily with the uh, full of blood on her and in its mouth she thought that this small mongoose would have killed her child and put the uh, water bucket on the mongoose and killed it and when she came running to, into the door and saw she found a deadly cobra bitten by the mongoose and down and child is nearby that <laughs> good luck Christina didn't do anything like that so please don't be immediately ferocious over animal and don't be ferocious with animals itself they are five sense creature you are all six sense creature so behave accordingly okay and um, uh, so uh, uh, Christina is wise enough she realized that somehow harm has happened to Mr. Khan Khan has would have done this for a purpose so she took uh, uh, Mr. Khan that's a Doberman pet she couldn't lift his weight you know how heavy Doberman should be they will weigh drastically I have given handshake with one Doberman a bah, powerful hand of the Doberman <laughs> and uh, I mean, uh, but Dobermans uh, as far as my experience is concerned Dobermans are not friendly they are little bit up to their profession they are very professional dogs and as an advice I am telling to you just I am not blaming Doberman I love Doberman like anything I had friends who grown Doberman I have admired the Dobermans barking at me on uh, uh, say on some of my neighbor's house uh, Doberman has a resemblance a horse like right? horse little bit <laughs> it's such a beautiful dog and uh, uh, I have also heard of lot of cases that Doberman and uh, a German Shepherd bite the hand of a person and your hand bones will be broken hand fracture will happen because they have such uh, huge uh, powerful bites and uh, in uh, my previous uh, crocodile video Mr. Ismail would have explained about the bite force of uh, Gariol, a type uh, which looks like a crocodile it's a crocodile most of us have called it as a crocodile but it's a different species the Gariol and Nile crocodiles have the very high bite force not that much but still dogs have a very powerful bite force so when you grow your pet dogs be careful with them properly vaccinate it and deworm it if you pro follow proper deworming and vaccination schedule the animals won't be much irritated at that, that itself reduces the chance of you getting bite if you don't give them proper medicine proper food make them angry trouble them they will bite you okay and uh, but Dauber, I had trouble the Dauber when uh, once uh, this happened and uh, these are all very professionally trained dogs uh, that is the uh, these dogs are grown by the police department and uh, during a function uh, they allowed uh, small children to interact with these dogs uh, that is the police dogs will be on the line three dogs are there three breed dogs one is a doberman and another one is a german shepherd and another one is a labrador dog so we had a chance to go and give a handshake to all the dogs and uh, I am I was very notorious and I was very fond of animals from my childhood what I did was first time I went and gave chickens to all the dogs second time I went behind the line and stood the dog which refused to give me a handshake for the second time is doberman it's a very professional dog it refused and the policeman provoked it gave the hand like this <laughs> have a handshake and get lost <laughs> and I gave it to the uh, German shepherd he looked at me it also found out and it was little bit but it knows the German shepherds the one thing I like to say is they are very uh, efficient and they are very flexible so it understood 
if i don't uh, guess against to this fool for coming second time this uh, my trainer will mistake me so have handshake and go it was not i the angry but it was a okay handshake and uh, with a very dull mood don't work make me to work a lot and next was slabber dog he was so happy oh my friend you have come to me see me on the second time i like you very much he was ready to give seconds before i send my hand so dog nature is also very important if you are going uh, when you get a dog in your family be aware of what the breed dog you get and if you uh, if you have grown up child you can always go for a doberman if you need more protection or a german shepherd but if you have very small child uh, german shepherd is somewhat okay but still i will suggest a very friendly dog like a doberman and pomeranians are given bad rating for being with child sometimes they fight equally but still uh, pomeranians uh, uh, that to the type of dog is also how you grow is also very important how they react is also important that is my second experience and on the third time also i came in this time doberman refused completely even after the order i am a professional person i don't uh, deal with these kinds of uh, uh, people so again as usual the german shepherd gave its uh, with some more long face and shake and labrador gate very happy and he came and kept his thing on my chest oh my friend let's have a hug that's about uh, dog breeds are also important and i was talking about this pomeranian as well right uh, what about this pomeranian was uh, uh, i had a friend in my school and uh, i visited his home he has a uh, plenty of pomeranian i have plenty of cats he has plenty of pomeranian dogs and he used to i do i won't be able to find out which dog because all of them are white so physical appearance is different but i as i am not a frequent visitor of his home i won't be able to find the particular dog he will find out the particular dog and catch on dog and give it to me it will sleep on my hands like this but because uh, the only reason is other dogs have a chance of biting me so how the dogs react is also important so observe when your children are with your animals and be careful don't go by this story the uh, cases may differ so ki i have animals but at a distance from your children okay and uh, so now uh, christian was driving at a draft drastic speed don't over speed your vehicles and this is a different case but you can always hire an uh, ambulance as well uh, but still sometimes you have to do but your safety is also important if you hit on the road and uh, the accident may also more injure your dog so traveling high speed it's not something recommended but this story that happened she drive very fast and she reached the veterinary hospital she is uh, admitted con and doctors examined and they said that this would be a snake bite we will send samples to lab and we need mr con to be on the observation for one day only after 24 hours as movie say movie doctor say only after 24 hours we will be able to do anything tell anything everything is on the god's hand so christian with a heavy heart uh, returned back and mr con is in the hospital and after the mr uh, uh, after 24 hours the dog uh, uh, christina goes back and finds out mr con is uh, good and uh, uh, she has got recovered and the what happened was a uh, mulga snake mulga is called as brown snake in australia this is the second most deadliest snake in the world A deadliest snake means who kill most of the human beings in the uh, in the world that is a statistic uh, ranking for that in that this mulga snake is the second and the first one is black mamba uh, black mamba <laughs> this snake grows up to uh, in this mulga snake also there are two varieties one grows up to average of 4 to 5 feet and another one goes up to 13 to 14 feet that's called as king brown snake that's mostly called as mulga so it's a very venomous snake which is a fatal for human beings and even for very big animals like kangaroo all those they get a bite from uh, mulga they are gone and uh, so uh, now they have to take they have taken uh, now corn has successfully surveyed the mulga bite and one another one thing i noted was they had a grass lawn where this incident happened cut your grasses if you have a child mainly cut it off have if you have snakes in your place call the forest department they will have snake catchers let them catch you don't catch because most of the snake bites happen when you try to beat a snake or when you try to catch it both if you are professionally trained do it when you do it have a person ready have a vehicle ready or you have a poly anti venom 
uh, earlier it was like neurotoxic and uh, hemotoxic there were different venoms and even if a snake is completely different go to the doctor doctor knows to find which snake is that and give treatment accordingly even though they don't know that for which snake bite you there are common treatments there are poly anti venom with which they can save your life rush to the hospital you don't drive the vehicle or someone to else to drive the vehicle if you drive the vehicle saying come think this in mind there are a lot of non poisonous snakes which resembles poisonous snake which give very painful bite so think that you would very would have been bitten by a non poisonous snake go with the same confidence to the doctor tell the doctor the symptoms doctor will treat you so that this is the most most best thing to do in case of a snake bite if uh, someone else is bitten tell them there are a lot of non venomous snake which resembles the venomous snake and take them to the hospital now finally can't save the child so uh, now doberman is a hero he has saved the save the child the story happened in australia australia is a homeland of most of the venomous creature type 1 which is the most toxic venom in snakes the toxicity of the venom goes like this Taipan is the first black mamba is the second and karait of indian snake is the third and i have lot of snake videos in my channel click on my photo or search as joel john j in your youtube search box it will take you to my channel page click on videos and drag down you will find lot of snake videos so watch them as well there will be lots and lots of information about snakes and then coming back to the point this karait uh, gives painless bite this mulga and black mamba give very painful bite and india is also a land of snakes where we have cobras which are which are, cobra causes most of the fatalities in uh, india and karait is also added to that because most of karait bites are mistaken with the cobra bites and we have vipers annually 50000 indians die because of snake bites on that same heading itself i have a video watch that as well and uh, hope i would have conveyed you most of the things grow dogs grow cats have fishes they will give you peace of mind and they will save you as well Uh, even saving from heart attack is much uh, appreciable right most of the stress for heart attacks will be relieved if you have good pets okay so uh, stay tuned to my channel watch all my videos share like and comment on my videos promote more ask your friends and relatives to watch the beautiful fish videos which i have and also lot of awareness videos will be coming up don't hurt animals uh, they also need their living space and another one thing any bad thing will have a positive side if you look at watch my snakes video i would have said uh, neurotoxic venom that's of um, they said about mulga right ki brown snake and king brown brown snake and uh, cobras of india which are the main killers in india karait which are again the main killers in india their venom is used to create poly anti venom and, and neurotoxic anti venom another one thing is they are used in cancer treatment cancer patient cancer is a very deadly disease cancer is another one killer disease this killer disease is uh, treated with the killer venom of snakes so snakes are also a part of the ecosystem if you kill all the snakes you won't have a chance for a uh, getting this uh, cancer medicine and also they are former friends they eat most of the rats one th- uh, the they say that that uh, uh, one third of the food grains will be eaten up by the rats and other uh, uh, creatures if there are no snakes to eat them so that's a kind of a ecosystem support also they do still be aware of snakes when you go on night time means have a torch have one two torch you all your cell phones have a torch that power won't be enough so have a powerful torch and cell phone torch should be an additional help if you found a pit or something on your path have a stick if you are going on a night time have a stick along with the torch you have push it before where you go so that you know if a snake or something is there it will hearing the sound it will move away most of the time and we are footwears in the noise the snakes will move away all the venomous creatures will move away from you most of the animals don't hurt humans until they are being provoked or until it's a man eater crocodile or a man eater snake or an man eater snakes most of you would be thinking that uh, uh, anaconda is the biggest snake as per the data i have reticulated python which is also seen in india which grows up to 30 to feet exception will be the is the biggest snake in the uh, world and uh, india is the uh, home of the biggest non venomous snake and venomous snake king cobra is the biggest which uh, almost grows to 18 feet and reach and there are cases where it goes up to 24 feet or 22 feet and that is the biggest venomous snake so in india also we have all the type of snakes uh, so be careful about snakes and snake bites be careful about venomous creature keep your uh, place clean follow proper safety mechanism and have a dog if you are going to walk on night have two to three dogs 
and its places as most many cheetahs or something when you go with a dog carry fire sticks cheetahs will be afraid of fire sticks don't go and try to fight with the cheetah it's very good enough it's very big enough to fight with you and it's very you know ferocious enough to beat you off so use a fire stick or some other safety equipments to fear our drums to fear these kind of animals or learn to live with the ecosystem and grow more trees there are a lot of tree related techniques and uh, if you search on youtube they are coming up with many many beautiful innovation we need trains we need underground water to be saved in so i have spoken much more than the story uh, and also i have spoken about uh, dogs and, uh, and one of the uber uber ad i saw a san bernard dog i was very happy about that so also when the same brand ad is coming if the ad is different try to watch that you will get a lot of enjoyment and uh, pressure on that so also watch youtube ads and uh, as usual like share comment and subscribe on my video it's time to say bye it's a joel janjay signing off from you bye